Good Monday, Makers. Welcome back to another episode of Maker Pipe Monday. It is a special episode this week because we are going to review all the builds from February Build of the Month contest. We're going to check them out one by one, and I want you to go and vote for your favorite one because there's the last day to do that. Let's check them out. The first one we've got is by Barry. He made this fantastic canopy over his back deck. He used shade cloth, EMT conduit, and Maker Pipe fittings. Even hung some lights around there, and it looks fantastic. What an awesome place to hang out. He even included a video in here where you can get the, the feel of it in nighttime. He's got the lights, um, shade cloth, and it looks like a great place to spend the evening and have some dinner. So, Barry, thanks so much for sharing your build. It's awesome. We love seeing it. Next one we've got is by Manuel. And he has this really awesome ATV, six wheel, uh, has a dump bed, and um, he uses it for hauling firewood. And the problem he had was the sides weren't tall enough. So he wanted to haul more firewood. You can't have enough firewood. Uh, so he created this surround out of maker pipe that connects to the existing rails on the ATV. And then he framed it with wood and gave him extra capacity for hauling his firewood. There it is all loaded down. So he's that much more productive each trip. We love seeing Emmanuel. Thanks so much for sharing. Next one is by Joe. Uh, Joe works with a hockey team and he needed a place to put all the hockey sticks in the locker room. So what he created out of Maker Pipe was this beautiful rack uh, where he can put the whole team's hockey sticks, backup sticks, the whole nine yards on there. Uh, and he used these dividers here on the conduit to give each stick a place to go. Uh, he put it on wheels so he could roll it around the locker room and he says it's been working great. So Joe, great job again on it. I uh, love that build. Thanks so much for sharing. Next one we've got is by Andrew. He is in hydroponics. He has an aquaponics farm where he has a flooded seed tray and he built this structure to hold the trays. He's got two different levels here and if you look at it, they're, they're slanted. Uh, for the hydroponics to work. And he was able to achieve that, that slant, uh, by putting the connectors on different places on the uprights and then support two trays with all the water and everything. Really great build. I'm glad it worked out for you, Andrew. Thanks so much for sharing it. Uh, next one we've got is by Stefan. He's got this really nice Jeep, silver Jeep, all kinds of accessories. And then he created a luggage basket on his hard top um, out of EMT and conduit, or EMT, excuse me, and maker pipe fittings. So he created this basket. He had some existing mounting points that he put up there, and now he's able to hold all kinds of luggage and different things on the top of his hard top. Really neat. Thanks for sharing, Stefan. Next build we have is by Tom, and Tom's son um, and his dog, Ralph. Ralph wanted to sleep in the bed with his son. So they needed to solve that problem so the dog could get up to the bed. And, and his son is on the top bunk. So check it out. This is what they made out of Maker Pipe. They made this whole structure so the dog could go up and see his son in bed. And there's his son. Uh, they even have some storage out of it for Legos and different space-related things. There's some more great pictures of it. And uh, his son helped build it cut the conduit, put the connectors together, and solve the problem. So really awesome to hear. Great build. Thanks so much for sharing, Tom. Love seeing it. Next one we've got is by Rick, and he created this cold frame from an existing cinder block wall. He built a conduit frame coming off the side with a shed-style roof, and then covered it in plastic um, for a cold frame. Beautiful, beautiful job. And there's a special special trick here. He created a crank ventilation system where he's able to crank this old crank and it pulls a wire and lifts and drops the whole top of it. Uh, really cool build, Rick. Um, fantastic. Thanks so much for sharing. Next one we've got is by Michael. He needed a way to transport his e-bikes. Uh, they're in a little bit different size than a traditional bike, right? So he took this basket carrier that goes, in, goes into the hitch of his Jeep 
and he created a way to stabilize the e-bikes, the fat tire e-bikes. Um, so he took that basket, put some conduit and pool noodles up, and then created a yoke that held everything in place. And you can see it's holding everything solid. He's able to transport on the back of his carrier, and it worked out great. Uh, love seeing that, Michael. Thanks for sharing. And the last build we've got for this week is by Randy. Um, Randy has uh, this beautiful patio where he cooks pizza, pizzas in his oven and he needed a place for his pizza peel on his pizza patio, uh, which is the pizza peel is this large uh, spatula, right? That you put the pizza in the oven and this one turns it and now he's got a place to store it while he's cooking pizza. Love seeing it, Randy. Um, and we did an interview with Randy too, if you wanna check that out. Uh, we gave him a call and talked about everything that he's into. He's built a lot with Maker Pipe, and we appreciate it. Uh, but that's all the builds that we've got for this month's Build of the Month for February. Thank you so much to all the people that have submitted their builds. Uh, we'd love to have you all win, and we appreciate you submitting it. Everyone did a fantastic job. The community is going to pick one person uh, as the winner for the month. And today is the last day to vote. So please go to the community. Vote for your favorite one. They'll get a nice thank you and prize pack. Uh, but everybody, fantastic job. We love seeing the bills for February. And keep them coming for next month. If you want to post your build, hashtag BOTM uh, to be entered into the contest. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.